as Mr. Huey indicated on the record this morning, these uh, plea agreements usually arise after, depending on the case, uh, there can be weeks of discussion that go into these um, uh, potential negotiations of a plea agreement. I believe Mr. Healy stated that uh, this one was four or more weeks long, uh, in, including the, the time where they would spend uh, going over the case with the public defender's office, evaluating the uh, strengths and weaknesses of the case. And I think Mr. Healy uh, sort of thoroughly outlined all of the different considerations that go into this. And first and foremost, we take this, this type of crime very seriously. Obviously, when you have a murder involved, that's a particularly terrible and heinous crime. And so when we evaluate a sentence, we want to make sure that justice is done. We want to make sure that uh, the proposed sentence for the court's consideration is one that we feel is commensurate with the crime that's been committed. I also think it's important to note that notwithstanding my comments today, this is a proposed plea agreement, and the court will ultimately evaluate that uh, proposal and make a determination about whether it's acceptable to the court or not. 